this point, you might be asking yourself, how does this relate to Mario? Think about it. Luigi is the shy, timid brother, while Mario is the outgoing, adventurous brother. The two sides of a coin, yin and yang. So if Luigi is a demon, then Mario has to be Jesus. Uh, okay, maybe he's not Jesus, but there is evidence to suggest a connection between Mario and Jesus in SMG4. If you watch Stupid Mario Arcade and pause at this exact frame, you'll notice something or someone very suspicious in the background. Enhance! You may notice a man dressed in white. That is Jesus! And this isn't the only time we see them together. In Mario Does Pranks, we see Mario talking to Jesus in the afterlife. Jesus rose from the dead, so maybe he taught Mario how to resurrect. Mario and Jesus do seem to get along pretty well. And for that matter, in the meme games, we see Mario T-posing. And who also T-poses, huh? That's right, Jesus. And that's not all. In the very first Mario reacts to Nintendo memes, Mario rises into the frame, just like Jesus rose from the dead. I'm thinking I'm back. Coincidence? Absolutely not. Mario is 100% connected to the Bible, and not just in the SMG4 universe, but in the games too. According to Revelations 1.16, and he, Jesus, had in his right hand seven stars. Oh, I'm sorry, which game has seven stars? That's right, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And that's not the only reference to the Bible. In Super Mario 64, we see Mario flying around what looks to be heaven. Mario also teams up with an angel in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. But the most damning piece of evidence, folks, is this painting right here, The Last Supper. What you might not know is this painting is not completely finished, but now with modern technology, we can finally see Da Vinci's fully finished painting enhance again. They thought they could get away with it. Not while I'm on the case.